Hi there, everybody. I'm Fred Thomas, and you are watching All Things Bike, and we are talking with cycling photographer Angel Angelica Dixon and Down East racing rider Travis Dixon. And we are going to go through some of the top picks of the 2017 cyclocross season in New England. All righty, Angelica. So here we go. We, we're going to start at the top. And... Um, what do you say? Do you remember taking this? <laughs> I it's, do. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> that was just when we put together the album to send you. It was, yeah. it was amazing how many shots there were to go through. So wow. we'll hopefully we remember where everything was. But this was actually at really Red Cross, um, oh, yeah. and uh, this is one of the women riders. She's going. There was a, um, the course went around mm -hmm. kind of a little rodeo arena. Mm -hmm. And um, it was in a fairground area. Right. They kind of zigzagged up onto a hill and then zigzagged through all the. Uh, so it was know. a corral. It was one of those things where, sort of, a, what not not a corral, but a very sort of narrow zigzag. Thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But I just I loved that area because yeah. you could really get a sense of their speed. Oh um, yeah. You can really. There, I mean, cyclocross, you, depending on the terrain, you can get going. You really can. Yeah. And, and there are <laughs> races where there are long stretches or areas where you mm -hmm. really kind of tap into more of your road legs, right. if you will, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. you're able you know, to maybe gain a positional yeah. advantage or, or not. But um, even in the zigzag sections, this is the technical. these riders can really maintain some good speed. Yeah, oh, I believe it. I love the, the tape. The way the tape features in this, it's sort of orange and red, and, and it's a common theme through a lot of these hmm. images. Um, I, I like this one because it's... That's a Dylan, it's yeah. It's Dylan, yeah, and, 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 you can, and he, he's not wearing any sunglasses. So many people are wearing sunglasses, so you can't see the, the sort of mix of, of horror and terror and, and, <laughs> and anxiety and amusement that's right. on their faces. We yeah. get it all with Dylan. You get it all with Dylan. Yeah, yeah. Dylan's <laughs> a new uh, racer on the Down East that's team. That's right. Um, and uh, this was one of the first races I got to mm -hmm. see him in. Mm -hmm. um, this was the Down East Cyclocross race oh, that, um, yeah, yeah. Up at Pinelands. Mm -hmm. And uh, that course was gorgeous. It went yeah. right through the woods. Uh, it was hot. Yeah. It was very hot yeah. that day. In fact, a lot of guys didn't anticipate didn't how hot it, it was going to uh, be and were getting really dehydrated and so, kind of struggling with the race. So. And there was, there was that one big tree at the bottom of the, the hill, you go you know, down and then back and up. And there was a big tree that was just always right there. Um, I mean, if you'd been standing there taking pictures, of it, you would have seen numerous people, myself included, go right into it. And, <laughs> yeah, and those are, the those are the spots I look for. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, there's always the finish line shot, and this is, um, I mean, this is a, yet another one of, of um, Jeremy Powers, but what leapt out at me was, uh, this must be his father or relative, because there's a, a real look of satisfaction on his face, and he's carrying a, a jersey, a, a Rafa jersey, um, and mm. then there are the kids. Um, who are who are just um, smiling serenely? Yeah, this is the New England um, Cross Championship, and oh, yeah. uh, Jeremy. I don't know all the details, but he's been dealing with some health yeah, um, yeah. medical this, um, issues this season. This was his first win after his his yeah. uh, setbacks and all that. Yeah, and I felt like this year we saw him less than we've had in mm -hmm. previous years, mm -hmm. and and then also just. Um, when we would see him, right. uh, he was just in a different place yeah, than yeah, we've yeah. seen him in previous seasons. Yeah. Uh, but he was riding strong that day and looked happy and healthy. And the crowd they, watching Jeremy yeah. back in a race, back in a big race, and back in a race that really means a lot to the area, yeah. um, to England, uh, New England uh, cyclocross, uh, it, they, they were, just they were chasing him all over that course, and everyone was down at that finish line to watch him get that win. Yeah. So I, it was I mean, really I think, exciting. I think it summed up. I mean, this per, this guy's smile sort of captures all of that. I mean, an hour and three minutes, so that's a that's a long time, I think, right? Yeah, the cycle cross time. Yeah. Um, wow. Here's this. this um, was that the same race? Um, no, this one is actually at Northampton. Mm -hmm. um, Adam Meyerson puts on. Um, this race every year. It's a two day race. Oh, yeah. And in Northampton. Yeah, in Northampton. Northampton. That's, a, that's a UCI event, yeah. I think. Right? Yep, yep. And it's part of the Vittoria series. series. So Curtis is wearing the leader's jersey, as oh. was the previous photo. That was the, the final of the series. Okay. So. Right, right. So the, this blue jersey. So it yep. does have it. It has, um, yeah, it has jerseys, so which um, a little bit of a road yep. vibe there. Yeah, yeah there's but, a tradition there yeah. in regards to that leader jersey moving from race to race, right, to rider right. to rider. 
Um, Makes it so <laughs> satisfying if you if you can get it. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I mean, I love the way that it, again that these guys are. They've got their glasses on, so you can't see just. Um, how, you know the, the look on them, but they're definitely focused on what must be a, a sharp downhill. And you have the crowd here; these sort of gothic figures. So, you know, <laughs> they must continue to suffer. You know, <laughs> totally impassive and, and but wrapped. Yeah, it's one of the most impressive courses. The, the second day, uh -huh. and I think traditionally the second day has these um, steeper, more technical descents. Yeah. Um, last year, I think. On one of the descents, there and it was there this year too. There was, a, I mean, an actual warning sign. You know, oh, really? you're going to descend at your own risk, so you you have to decide and warm up if you have the skill to wow. do it. Um, wow, so it's very Green Mountain, right? You know, like <laughs> you can lose the race. Right. You're not going to win the race on that corner at the bottom of the hill, but you can certainly lose it. Yeah. Were you, were you in it too, or I mean, did in you that know? race? Yeah. 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 It's a great event, and it's a real good mix of uh, technical and. Um, uh, long stretches, a lot of, right. you know, so you got to have some horsepower and you got to be able to ride routes, um, yeah. you know, descent. It's a good balance course. It's and, and the sign, hard. you, did you pay attention to the sign? Or? Didn't even see it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Focused on the road ahead or the trail ahead. And then, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is a, a, the spectator sport element. You know, you, you get a, 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 does everybody get a handshake at the end? Or <laughs> just, just the guy? Especially oh. if you're Anthony, you get a hand, you get yeah. a handshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is this again? This is Anthony? Clark. Clark, oh yeah. Yeah, right. yeah he's, um, he's a big writer yeah. uh, in the pro scene. Mm -hmm. uh, he is, um, tied up with, um, teamed up with Squid Bikes, oh, yeah, right. and uh, this is at Gloucester, which traditionally is part of Holy Week in cyclocross. Yeah, also. Uh, yeah. This year it sounds like some of the races um, kind of changed hands and who was directing, and so mm -hmm. some of the locations um, mm -hmm. were altered, and Holy Week, it wasn't the traditional Holy Week this year, but usually Holy Week consisted of right, a right. handful of races in the New England area. Right, right. Um, and so Gloucester is always a big it's one. It's still a big draw. Yeah. I mean, they, they, yeah. they, they come from ever, from It over. is. Yeah. Yep. And so uh, it's on this park right on the it's ocean. right on the water. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I think there's a, there's a picture of it coming up just next. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe yeah, maybe. it's hard to see, but there is a huge there's, rock. There's rock. Is, back it, is there. that the Plymouth Rock or no? No, I yeah. can't remember the I guess name the of the Plymouth rock. Plymouth Rock wouldn't be um, in Gloucester. In Gloucester, though, right. <laughs> <It> might be. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and this, um, I mean, one thing I noticed with cyclocross is so much, so frequently, they're, 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 the riders are totally in the air. You know, whether they've got the bike off the ground or they're they're dismounting or or mounting. I mean, here's an example. I think, um, and this is Ellen Noble. Yeah. yeah. And she's, I guess she's just hopping onto the bike after, after a barrier. Yep, she's remounting. But um, it's a, it's a, the the closest ballet we'll ever sort of get to cycling, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. There's a tremendous amount of art and skill and finesse that goes into dismounting and awesome. remounting, and from a spectator, it looks like it. it how you how well you do that can mean seconds, which adds oh, yeah. up very quickly yeah. in a oh, race. Absolutely. So yeah. um, she is one of the best. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes you'll see her bunny hop depending on um, you know how she's feeling that day, probably, right, right. or maybe the height of the mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. barrier. The barriers, yeah. um, but however she's getting over them, she's one of the most graceful, most beautiful riders you'll see get on I and off that it. bike like that. I know it's it's I believe it. Can you can you bunny hop a? a, a oops, we skipped one. Okay, um, are you able to bunny hop a barrier? No, uh, it's not a trick question. It is not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I certainly can't. I, so, I, I, mean, I don't do easy. it. I don't do it in races because I just yeah. I don't have that confidence yet. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I mean, yeah. it seems to me you, you bunny hop it and you miss it, then you lose, you lose 30 a seconds. lot. <laughs> yep. What's yeah. the point? A lot of time. <laughs> yeah. But it it makes a difference. I mean, the guys who are doing it, even in you know right. my category, they, they're bunny hopping and they're making up time. Wow. So wow, next well, year. Next year, exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, that's uh, the feature, or, or a noticeable feature, as, as we mentioned, is that their their families at these races. Yeah. And, and yeah. I mean, uh, and, and the kids can have fun, and and I guess they actually get to race or or check out the course. And, yep. Um, and this girl has her eyes closed, but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, at least she's I, out there. Yeah, <laughs> and actually, I think she's just looking down. It's actually a really steep turn, okay. and most of the kids, actually, a lot of riders in multiple categories, would just get taken out on that turn. Oh, yeah, um, right. Come right she, through the tape. She's not too far behind from the lead group, uh, mm. she, and she's just having a good time. Exactly, exactly. You know, they were all zipping around that course, uh -huh. you know, 
several times before the race even started of just having fun, and that's, that's the next generation. Yeah, I know, it's exactly, having fun, no fear, you know, they're, they're small, they bounce when they fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't have to fall too far. Here's, uh, here's another, about. yeah, uh, the tape, I love the way the tape is oh, always a sort of yeah. a, a theme. Yeah, I, I can't help but try and um, kind of bring in some of just what I see artistically in, in a scene, but this is a guy going down. Yeah, uh, yeah. He writes for No Tubes, he's a young, yep. I'm spacing his name right now. Up and coming writer. Oh, he yeah, yeah. Um, just kills it on the course. Yeah, he was he was basically on his own the whole time. Right? Yeah, he, he was. was. <laughs> I mean, the gap he had was incredible. But even yeah. going down on that turn, yeah, there was no one really, in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, he recovered very well. But and he went out to Belgium, had a good campaign out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So wow. these guys, you know, they're using all this as their. They're right, training right. And to warm sharpen up and, their, their yeah. claws. No, that's great. Well, um, New England Cyclocross is, is, uh, produces a lot of uh, riders. And, and, yeah. That's what happens that's when you miss a bunny hop. That's when you happen if you miss a bunny hop, I think. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And, and, and is that right? He was trying to bunny yep. hop it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. He was. <laughs> yeah, and he, you know, he'd gone around before and, and did fine. It's just, yeah, it could be green. any tiny yeah, little yeah, thing yeah. is never. off and you go You down. get tempted. You're like, I can do it. I can you know, get more time and, yeah. and yeah. Um, oh well, I, I, luckily I think he's all right. Um, the bike yeah. is, is totally in the air again. Yeah, he's a very strong rider and uh, he got right back up and right back <laughs> exactly. into it. Here we go, this is this is Gloucester. Yeah, and, yep. and that's Plymouth the view rock. from the top of the rock. It definitely has a sort of a, a holy feel to it, you know. Um, build it and they will come. And, and <laughs> contrasting with the baseball field. And, and, uh, yeah. That's quite a shot. And how can you take a picture into the sun and still have images? I thought if you took a picture into the sun, you'd get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can angle it off just right. You know, a lot of the lenses will have a hood. Um, oh, okay. So that's it can it. help bounce Thank light you. differently. Um, yeah. But, you know, every glass, depending on yeah. the diameter, you know, it just depends on and where you angle it. You can bring it, it yeah. off just a little bit. Um, but you can see I've got all these kind of, I've got this halo effect. A lot of photographers yeah. actually try to avoid that, oh, I yeah. think. No, um, I think it, it, it works. But I, I like those effects. Yeah. I think it kind of yeah. adds to the photo. It, it adds to the, to the drama. And, and, um, uh, and so I like, I like the way this guy's pointing. I'm not sure what he's pointing <laughs> at. There are like four guys. Um, you were at this race too, right? Yeah. Uh, Travis? And yeah. Gloucester is great. It's the first time I've done it um, the year prior. Um, I didn't realize yeah. that you had to sign up like months in advance. Yeah. yeah, and once it opens, like you have to do it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like but yeah, got to do it. It was really fun. It's just an incredible thing. And what's neat um, with uh, you know, I'll, I'll race and then um, hang out with Angelica, and we'll mm -hmm. go around the course and point out the different spots. But when she shoot, started shooting that morning, it was uh, complete fog. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's really fun to watch her, how she has to figure, I mean, how everything was set up for that is completely different than what it was right. set up like three hours prior. Right, right, you know? right. The so, weather, the New England weather. Yeah. Taking, yeah. taking charge. Yeah, well, it, it, it produces some great um, images. And um, yeah, here's, this is, uh, I think, another one of those corral things. And yeah, a lot of way people are all going in the exact opposite directions. And I guess that's because the, the corral is a... Yeah, it was several that. rolls of rows of zigzagging. And I it was at um, the Down East Cross Race yep. in Pineland, um, on Pineland Farm. And uh, it was so hot, it was instead hot, of yeah. having wet grass, it was nothing, it was just it was a dust, dust bowl. Yeah, yeah, which oh, that's right. Which is <laughs> really fun to shoot in uh, when you've got riders coming out of the dust. Yeah, and, yeah, I, know, um, yeah, I think there's, that's coming up next. Um, Oh, okay, well, you'll see it. When, this is, um, before we get to that, this is um, tape and uh, horizontal and vertical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> where, is the, where is this one? This That's is, back in the woods at Northampton. Uh, oh. And um, it, it, her name's Izzy. Uh -huh. oh. And she's yeah. um, a young, um, really strong, I, I don't know she's her actual female. age. I junior. Could, yeah, she's a junior. She, she actually raced actu in the Cat 3s recently. Yeah, they, wow. she's they made the strong. decision to, um, right. you know, they put her up and move her out. Otherwise, racing yeah, with the Cat 3 men, which yeah. was really, really fun to watch. Um, I don't Good. speak to her, but the first day she looked a little timid. Yeah, Second day, man, she just, it was awesome. Elbows and yeah. all. Yeah. Well, and, and, and that's something that reflects the, the atmosphere of the Peloton. It's a, it's pretty friendly, I seem yeah. to remember. Um, yeah. And yeah. I'm sure they everyone was, I mean, they're, it's they raced her, you know. I they mean, raced, but they, they were, they were, I'm sure they were encouraging her and making her feel welcome. 
Uh, I'm not sure how welcome the guys around yeah, okay. here were feeling. <laughs> well, exactly. I think it was tough yeah, for they, them. They might take it. <laughs> and she started like fourth row. I mean, she right. she did really well. So she had to fight through, Good you know, the whole group. But uh, wow. it was great to watch. It the was really really legends. exciting. Yeah. Uh, here's a, a, a cryptic image. It looks it looks like I don't know if it's Dylan or Camden just walking through the woods with it's his bike. Dylan. Yeah, yeah, it's Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> and it's at Ice Weasels, which is kind of the kind of like the cherry on the top of yeah. the cake there for the season. Uh, it's a, a much more laid back. Right. You're going for a good time costumes, of racing, costumes, yeah. Yeah. beer tent. Yeah. Um, Isn't it at night? Or not they, have a, they have a midweek one that um, that's at night, but this is, um, yeah. This is the daytime version. This is the ice weasels. That's the night weasels. Yeah. Oh, I see. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I need to get out more often. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we got some good snow and uh, had fun shooting in that one. Yeah, and, and uh, I oh, mean, yeah. this, well, that must orchard. be Orchard Cross, orchard. right? Yes. And here you're channeling the, the, the sort of that, that image of the bikes going, the racers going through the pastoral scene. That's right. And instead of sunflowers, we've got apples. Yeah, um, I love that race. Uh, the course is gorgeous. You right. could, any direction you shoot, it's you're going to get a fun you're scene. Get a picture. Yeah, um, yeah. Family friendly. It's been going for a very long time. It's popular, I hear. Yeah. Very, very popular. And apple cider. Yeah. yeah. It's, right, it's right in the fall, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't know. Who's this guy? Yeah, I made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> you did. It was a good one. And that was the picture I was talking about earlier, referencing. You know, you, you don't have your glasses on. Ah. You can see you're, you're, you're looking at the tape. You're not looking at the camera. Um, Is that at Shed Park? Yeah, that's Shed Park. They're uh, part of the course mm -hmm. just is on this the side of this very big hill right. and um, after zigzagging all the way around it and then down it there's a very steep mm -hmm. turn and uphill climb oh, gosh. Uh, a lot of categories have to dismount at the base and just carry their bikes up but I see. so that's what that's what Travis was looking at I suppose or going in with speed yeah, yeah. The only way to go look at that and, and here's a these guys almost look like they're marching in, in unison um, even though they're running with their bikes, there's, it seems like there's a moment where everything is perfectly aligned. I don't know how, uh, I mean, that's, what, serendipitous? Uh, <laughs> yeah, cycling? yeah, but you know, I, seeing things in repetition can add yeah. to, you know, the look of a photo. Um, yeah. And these were the three leaders and they were right on each other's tails, right. uh, running through that sand at the championship um, on the first day. I see. Yeah, so it is, it's actually, you're capturing a very tight, very, Close race. I mean, I mean, you might think it's just the guys. Yeah, their bikes, no, those are the leaders, yeah. and they were rotating positions right. that first the day, time. the yeah. whole time. Um, very, very close competition. But that beach scene is is rough. You I get mean, a run on the beach. Yeah. Yeah, they're right. On, they're right on the beach. The sand. It was really cold, so the sand actually packed down a little bit harder mm -hmm. in previous seasons. Uh, it's really loose, and yeah. it's probably even more and, difficult to get through it. Exactly, and they, they don't even bother trying to ride, right? That would be harder. Here, here we go, here's your, your the dust. <laughs> the um, dust, and, yes. And the dust effect works in, in black and white. And yeah, really I've, well. again, I'm a sucker for black and white, um, yeah. but dust, it's, I'm usually hoping that it'll rain, so there's some good mud scenes. Yeah, um, that's, you know, that's, Classic that's, cyclocross yeah. scene that you might see from Europe, but, uh, the dust yeah, just adds a whole other effect. Yeah, and it's sort of channeling the, the, like the USA pro cycling, or you know, something that happens out in the desert, right? Yeah. Right. right. Let's see, okay, and here yeah. we go again. Is, um, where is that? Is that Gloucester or, no, or Portland? Thompson, uh, no. Connecticut, uh, uh, KMC Cross. Okay. And so it's the back side of this hill there. And uh, that was, yeah, as you can see, it's big, dry, Dusty. But, like, I mean, how do you get ahead in, the, in a circumstance like that? I mean, is this is this like the first lap? And do you think that's or? probably the first lap? Yeah, and, and so that's just the stay. position in the lap. That's about halfway through the lap mm -hmm. as well. So obviously things hadn't strung out so much at that point. So you're still kind of bumped up, bunched mm -hmm. up. But the the run up itself is wide, and mm -hmm. then it funneled at the top right into essentially single track, and then you drop down the other side right. into the steep descent. And, and can you actually move up and get ahead on the, on the running part, going up a hill like that? It's, it's, some people can. Some people can, yeah. It's just tough. Like, I, I remember you c I couldn't even see where your feet were going. So, oh, yeah, right. you know, but, um, but yeah, it's, 
it's all positioning and you gotta you gotta figure it out but really just maintaining your spot is a big right, in, at that right. at that thing yeah and that's just a segment i mean what would you say the that run up is twice that length uh probably a third, a third more yeah oh yeah. yeah oh there's a whole bunch yeah yeah, right. yeah. jeez there's, there's that's Adam, Adam Morrison. Yep. Uh, and, and that's at Gloucester. And that's the, right. The, yeah, the Plymouth the Rock and all the spectators. Is, they, 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 it looks like they, I mean, they're very happy to sit on top of the rock and, and look <laughs> at the riders, you know, yeah. way off in the distance. Yeah. Um, but yeah. They get the big picture view. Yeah, and he's such a presence in the cyclocross oh, yeah. scene. Um, uh, promotes, yeah. you know, all ages. He has an extensive history in, in really building it up and yeah. making sure that it has a, a good future. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, so. and on the road, too. That's the, that's the only time yep. I ever basically race, race with or against him, and uh, it's not easy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. At all. None of these guys are, I, I don't think I can keep up with. I mean, this is, this is um, I think, um, first of all, I mean, it's, uh, it captures the fact that um, there's a real technical aspect to cyclocross, right? Yeah. I mean, and I think this must be an extreme example because he's riding up some sort of step. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they're and steep. And really only the pro men could do it. Mm -hmm. um, everyone else had to uh, dismount bike, and shoulder right? that bike. Um, yeah. But yeah. Hyde had, had a little bit of distance and time and then just incredible strength yeah, right, to, right. to jump that. And a lot of the pro men were able to do that at, right. at the beginning of the race. Yeah, I mean, you can see the strain <laughs> yeah. on his legs and, and through his back. Wonderful. Yeah, and here's another example of, of almost ballet-like contortion, or maybe not ballet, but the yeah. leg and the thigh and then the back and the arm. Um, Yep, it's just a beautiful sport. I mean, you really, you know, each position you're taking shots from, mm -hmm. you know, you usually are going to see just the human body really mm -hmm. perform <laughs> in just these incredible ways. And she's climbing up a hill, shouldering a bike. She's a young female athlete. Mm -hmm. In this photo, it doesn't even look like she's straining, but um, oh, you just, the balance, yeah. the coordination. Yeah, I mean, the it, bike feels really heavy, right? I mean. Yeah, it starts off uh, as a 16-pound bike, but by the end of it, it feels like a big gorilla. Pound yeah, <laughs> fat butt. All right, and yeah, here's an I, you know I, this, this is again this is the halo effect that that caught my eye, and for a moment I thought he was actually airborne, but actually his his foot is in the sand. Just planted, yeah. Just planted the moment after. Yeah, I um, I really like shooting into the sunlight. Mm -hmm. When I was doing a lot more black and white, mm -hmm. I I like silhouette type photos, but um, yeah. doing more color in yeah. cycling. Um, it's yeah. just, it's a fun way to make sure that the rider's lit. Yeah, right. Um, still get to see some good definition in, yeah. you know, what their muscles are doing, and yeah. you get a, in a sense of the scene. And there's and there's almost always a, a, some outlying color, an orange shoe or <laughs> a green yeah. helmet. Or, um, here's the tape theme of, with an airborne Bike. I think this is a successful bunny hop. Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. a yeah. <laughs> that is a bunny hop. That is working out just fine. Yeah. And this is um, Ellen and is that Emma? Emma? Yep. Yep, and Emma. Emma White. Yep. Racing through the corners. And the final picture, you have uh, you're some some suddenly you're on a drone or <laughs> <laughs> how did that happen? You're in a tree. <laughs> oh, so when Travis before Travis races, I'll usually scope out mm -hmm. the course, figure out, the lighting constantly changes, but I'll usually have an idea of some places that I, right. I wanna shoot from. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll try to get as familiar with the course as I can. After Travis races, though, I'll usually go up to him and, and ask him, what is your favorite part? Or oh, what is yeah. the hardest part of this no. course? I wanna go there. <laughs> Perfect. So um, he'll usually help me scope out those places right. where I know if writers don't get it just right, they might go down, right, right. they might not make you know. Well, there'll be an expression. Uh, exactly. You, you get to see <laughs> the effort that goes into yeah. the sport. Um, yeah. In this case, though, I was um, shooting for Adam Meyerson um, for the, the championship. And so I had a slightly different agenda that day in that I, mm -hmm. I needed to really 
follow the leaders, and so. Oh yeah, right. Because this is a leader's jersey, right? Or he's not, not actually a leader, and that, that's that's just his his regular oh, okay. kit. But he's in third place, mm -hmm. and he's hanging on tight. Um, the leaders are just up um, the course just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so Travis and I are just sprinting, ping ponging <laughs> back and forth that course just to follow the leaders and keep track of where they are, looking for right. the action shots. Right, where right. usually when I go to a cross race. I put in my earbuds, oh my I listen gosh. to yeah. you know something that gets me in the mood for shooting, and I just shoot what I see. Right. This is the more the more proactive. This was an active. assignment. Right, yeah. right, right. And what, an extra 10 miles of running around? Right, right. right. <laughs> Always, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, with like but 12 this pounds is that, of gear. Uh, but NBX, and there's a bridge, a footbridge. Oh, is that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah. So, so you, went, you were on top of footage. It wasn't quite as dramatic as a drone. Yeah, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. Not, <laughs> not in a drone. Sure. don't have a drone. But they, you didn't have to ride over the footbridge. Right? No, no, no. no. That, so it was, it was a good vantage point and uh, obviously a unique view. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and tricky. The course actually comes down off of a hill, and then they have to transverse this kind of slick, muddy mm -hmm. um, turn. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, as it goes under the bridge, not all the riders would come out looking. Oh, yeah. So good in that position. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, well, it's, uh, it adds to the drama and the entertainment. It does. And, um, and good for you to, to get out there and, and capture it um, the way you've done it. I'm sure you. You, you've made so many, you know, so many riders. You've made their Monday morning. You've probably made their whole <laughs> season, right? Because they have that one picture where they, they look great. And, um, and well done, Travis, on 20 races. That's uh, fantastic. I mean, that's, yeah. um, that's a lot of racing. So. Yeah. Um, good fun. Yeah, that's great. Well, look, both of you, thank you for coming down and, and um, showing us these pictures and talking bikes. And um, uh, we will talk to you again soon. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. All right, everybody. That was Angelica Dixon and Travis Dixon. And take a look at the video that we have that has about 70 images um, from the 2017 New England Cyclocross. Uh, season. You can um, relive the whole season by looking at that video. And if you want to know more about Down East Racing, take a look at the Facebook page, see what they are up to uh, this winter and, um, and next spring. That's all we got time for. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you again soon. All Things Bike with Fred Thomas is brought to you by Zentis, performance carbon wheels handmade in Austria for road and off-road riding. Zentis, next generation wheels. And Frame and Wheel eBay Bike Selling Services. Time, space, cash. Pick three. And AD Bikes, the modern face of Austro Daimler Cycling and the bike company of the future.